Hey everybody, so I'm back to working on the pod. I just started uh, working without taping and I figured I should probably cover a couple things here. A couple painting techniques occurred to me while I was doing these, but it was too late. Basically, uh, the only thing I can suggest is that if you've ever seen these little brushes here, it's just a little dab at the top. And they're really good for getting some precision work and getting edges real nice. They don't have any problems with hairs bristling all over the place, but you do have to worry about little hairs getting in the actual fiber there itself. And if it hasn't disappeared. One trick I'll point out is if you don't already know this one, is using a toothpick to paint. So if you've got like a little tiny repair to do, you can see here maybe there's a little bit of black on there. Just dab it in your paint and touch. You can't get too much more precise than this. And in fact, let's get a little black paint out here just to do a couple more repairs anyway. One thing that goes back to uh, my high school days for painting is that you never put your paint on a place where it will cross what you're painting on. And I can probably better clarify that in a second. Always use the minimal amount of paint and in case of enamels the more they're exposed to air the more likely they are to dry up so keep them capped tight as much as possible and to cut down on fumes always keep your paint box closed too if you can. I don't have any exhaust going on right now because it's uh, really cold outside so technically I shouldn't be doing too much of any kind of painting whatsoever but just get the tiniest little dab on your uh, toothpick there and if it comes down to just a tiny little point like that and then getting another dab do it this is all about accuracy using this and when you're into final touch-ups you definitely don't want to screw up or have to remask or go to any severe lengths to redo what is otherwise essentially a flawless paint job and I am not calling this particular example flawless there's lots of problems with this model and the more I painted it the more I saw them but unfortunately that's a fairly common thing for me is that when you're looking at it, it's like, oh, it looks great. And when you get back to it a little later, you're like, oh, shit. That ain't so good at all. So as you can see, the toothpick is definitely perfect for this. I was actually going to get a really uh, fine tip like a 0.3 millimeter technical pen and use that to dab those spaces but this just worked well enough and I think that's it for that uh, let's see if there's any more black areas to paint because I do have the black paint out uh, there's really nothing on here at all so another thing I'll point out about painting is that you don't really need to use paint I could take some silver paint and do this with that little green brush I showed you. But a silver sharpie applied with fairly good precision is going to do just as well. If not better. The only downside to a sharpie is if you suddenly have an epileptic attack and the marker goes all over the place you can't clean it off easily whereas with enamels you can wipe them down instantly and then get a slightly damped cloth with thinner enamel enamel thinner and you can usually clean that off pretty good then one other note that I'll say about this is it applies to painting as well is that never put your brush across something always put it down do your painting and pull straight back up again that will definitely minimize any errors that's it for that 
and then over here I missed this one earlier that's it for the silver work on this and all the black paint too so I definitely wasted a bit of black right here I don't see any other models around that would benefit from some black offhand well actually I was gonna paint this guy full black and then mask off just like I did the large one but uh let's see what I can do with this here